All right, Oscar found it. The snake we are looking for. Oh my God, I'm so happy now. All right, YouTube. So another video and I am very excited today because if you ever watch my Swedish videos I did one year ago, you might remember my friend Os. What up, mate? My Spanish amigo with his other Spanish amigos. And uh, we are on the way to the south where we will do some herpings for some days and yeah. And right now we're in the spot where Oscar found the Boiga yesterday. So we're gonna release the snake and then continue south. All right, so here we have the Boiga I talked about and it's uh, the Siamese cat snake, Boiga siamensis. Very beautiful species. And uh, yeah, they're not very bitey, so that's a good thing. But very beautiful snakes and also they are not dangerous to humans. They are mildly venomous, but they are rare fanged. And uh, yeah, as I said, a uh, human won't get much of a reaction from a bite of these. But super pretty snakes and actually I found my first one ever earlier this year. So it's nice to see see one again. But now we're gonna release it. Let it go. And as, as always we put the snake back exactly where we found it. And uh, here's the spot where Oscar found it yesterday. And there it goes, and you can see they are amazing climbers. Incredibly good climber, climbers. All right, so we took a quick stop at this spot because I've seen Gonyosoma here before. And look at that, two of them sleeping next to each other. Uh, difficult to see, but there we have the red-tailed racer, Gonyosoma oxycephalum. And there's the second one. We got visited by park rangers which is not good, no bueno. And we have no clue how to get the snakes down. Savadikap, ngu, ngu. Unfortunately, the reindeer told us to leave, so we're not gonna get them down. <laughs> but there we have them. Spanish people don't give a fuck. <laughs> so we're gonna try anyway now when the reindeer is not here. Unfortunately, one of them climbs even higher, so I don't know if we will catch these, unfortunately, especially for Oscar. It was his lifer. <laughs> unfortunately, we have to give up on the snakes, but I found this little scorpion, so at least we have something to see. Up close. Nice little Asian forest scorpion, Heterometrus species. Cute. All right, so we didn't get the snakes down, but uh, now we are on the way to the second spot and that will be way more exciting because in that spot we can find several species, but one of them is one of Thailand's most venomous snakes. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited. I only seen it once, so keep looking. All right, so we're at the spot, the first spot with our first target, and the target for tonight is the banded crate, one of Thailand's most venomous snakes, and it's beautiful with black and yellow banding, and it screams venomous. So I really hope I can show you one tonight, so let's go. So this is how the spot looks. It's a mangrove swamp, and except for the crate, there's other cool species we can find here. One of them is the mangrove pit viper, Trimerosaurus purple maculatus. I really hope we find one of them too. Very, very difficult to see on the video, but that's by far the biggest caterpillar I have ever seen. It's about 20 centimeters long. <laughs> Crazy. Beautiful. All right, so first snake in the swamp. And this is... A mangrove cat snake that Oscar saw. <laughs> nice, Oscar. Okay, this is going to be exciting. The snake is aware of us. 
Do you need a hand or something? Claro, llego, eh. Mira, agárrame, agárranos la mano. Should I try? Si puedes, llego yo, eh, que tengo más larga. Ahí la tiene, ahí la tiene, ahí la tiene. And... No! There he goes. Shit happens. Okay, so a bit unlucky with the water here, which makes it way more difficult to find a crate, but at least we got that cat snake, the mangrove cat snake, and it's very nice because none of us had a single clue they occurred here actually. So maybe a new spot for the species, which is nice. And we also have a exciting little cave to take a visit in after this, so there's still still hope for some snakes this night. Okay, so the boardwalk didn't give anything except for that boiga, so now, now we're back on land on the way to the cave. Hopefully where we can get the cave racer or any other species. Alright, here we have a snake. No, I'm kidding. It's a caterpillar that mimics a snake. Super cool. Super cool. It look a bit like a vine snake with nose. <laughs> nice. Nice spot, Oscar. Okay, so mi hermano Oscar shouted snake and it might be a very rare species of keelback. Let's see. So it was not the rare species of killback. Uh, it's the red-headed killback. Both venomous and poisonous, remember that. <laughs> but, <laughs> wait, wait, be, be careful. You can... It's okay, it's okay, there's still... It's venomous and toxic. The toxic is eating you. The color is eating you. You can see they have... Wait, wait. They have like a hood. Do you want clock? Oh, oh it's, it's gonna showing, showing the look uh, how beautiful. Yeah. Why, well, eh? Wow, dude. Wow. Look how. It, oh, you can see the poison on the. There you can see the poison on the neck. These snakes are actually poisonous, which means if you eat them, you will get poisoned. And off he goes, or she. Beautiful. Let's go to the cave. All right, so time to try our luck in this cave instead. Full of bats, which is good because that's why snakes are in here, because they chase bats and eat them. <laughs> Look at that, there are so many bats in here. Super good for snakes. Alright, cave number one was no bueno, so we're gonna go to the second cave, which has a very steep, <laughs> very steep entrance. Okay, so we found nothing in this cave either. Worst part now is getting down here, you can see how slippery it is, and it's really not actually steps, it's like climbing. No bueno. It's incredibly hot in here, you can see how I'm sweating. We're gonna make another plan, we're still gonna aim for the crate, because that's the main target here, so... So, nothing in the caves, so we are back at the boardwalk and we can see m way more land now. The water is r uh, leaving really quick, so that's very good. So, we're gonna give it another shot. Finally, after a lot of searching, Oscar found one of our targets. And uh, there we have it, it's the mangrove pit viper. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to catch this. And this is actually the biggest one I have ever seen. Beautiful, beautiful species. And uh, yeah, as you can hear by the name, pit viper, it is a venomous snake. All right, Oscar is gonna catch the mangrove pit viper. Nice. Bravo! <laughs> Qué guapa! So nice. All right, Oscar found it. The snake we are looking for, banded crate. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm so happy now. Go, Oscar!
Yes. Nice one. Um. I, I wait. I throw you a bag, okay? So I threw a bag to Oscar and we're standing here laughing and shouting right now because this is exactly what we came here for, the bandit crate, one of Thailand's most venomous snakes. All right, so here we have it, our main target for the spot, the bandit crate. And as I said, this is a highly venomous lapid. They have terrible neurotoxins. So what the venom will do is... It's a very slow acting venom actually and it's painless but within 48, within 48 hours you will have very bad symptoms including the worst thing that I can imagine and that's a coma like uh, state but you're fully aware of everything that's happening you cannot just move you cannot blink eventually you cannot breathe and you die but beautiful snakes and as you can see they don't really want to bite people many people say these are very calm at the day but aggressive at night but that's a myth they are always calm and uh, another fascinating thing with this snake is that it's a snake eater these snakes feed prim primarily on uh, other snakes but yeah oof, they are so beautiful and it's such a mighty snake and I'm so happy to be here right now holding this beautiful snake that we were looking for, the banded crate. And as I said before in the beginning of the video, how can you not see that this is dangerous? It's the classic warning colors, black and yellow. It looks like a warning sign, but it's a snake. <laughs> All right, I had a short look around the area and uh, I just found another crate, but this one is smaller and it's also not as vibrant in color, so we're just gonna let it go and use the other one for photos, but nice, two crates. And that's how quick a night can turn, from finding not anything that we wanted to find, to, to get both of our targets within 10 minutes. <laughs> so amazing, I'm so happy right now. Fuck yeah, bro. How does it feel, Oscar? Your lifer banded crate, right? No, it's not. My second. His second. Damn. All right, and let's have a look at the mangrove pit viper. Such a beautiful snake. And this is actually only the second time I see one. And the last one I saw was a small juvenile. But I got to be careful because as all pit vipers, these have heat sensing pits. So the snake know exactly where I am and uh, the venom from these are not to play with they have strong hemotoxins usually not deadly but you can you have a high chance of getting necrosis and stuff and I don't want to get that but what a beautiful animals animal and uh, as the name suggests they mainly are in the mangroves Whoa. but uh, this species is famous for being very angry, so like I said, I'm very careful with it. Oof, don't play. It's okay, it's okay. It bites sometimes, yeah? yeah? it's okay. Okay, here we have it. No. Super beautiful snake, but I cannot afford to get bit right now, so I'm not gonna play with it too much, but anyway. That was it for this video and I'm so happy we got all our targets, so thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and uh, see you in next video.